wow this is such a great angle and <laughs> such perfect lighting <laughs> What's up guys, it's Hino back with another video. So, as you guys can tell, um, actually you guys can't tell at all because no one has actually ever seen where I live live. Um, but I am not at my usual uh, filming areas. Uh, I am dog sitting little puppers over there. Um, and Today, I decided that I want to film a cooking video for you guys because I've said that I wanted to do one for a long time and I've never made one, mainly just because I'm always super lazy um, and you know, I just, I dive myself into the art of cooking just for myself a lot. But um, yeah, anyways, today we're gonna make a 4th of July special it's not fourth of july yet uh but it is like two days before fourth of july today i'm going to be ma making uh, basically lobster tail and uh chicken along with some uh like roasted corn uh baked some baked potato and some kale so this is gonna be fun this is gonna be exciting and uh you know um it wouldn't be a proper um, <laughs> cooking segment if I wasn't drinking something slightly alcoholic because I am 21 now. Woo! Anyways, yeah, uh, that's a major life update for anybody who isn't a friend of mine that is watching this video. But um, yeah, anyways, uh, cheers and let us begin the process of making some food why shall we not so first thing that we should do is turn on the oven and get it preset for 425 degrees all right so i just preheated the oven for 425 so while that is preheating let's shuck some corn um oh yeah Ooh, yeah. I'm an excellent chef, as we can tell. I haven't shucked corn in literally ages. I'm kind of just like overwhelmed by the amount of hair that's involved. So much hair at the top, guys. Um, I'm actually gonna break this in half because I want to eat half of it today. Okay, so moving on from that, um so now we need the potato so normally i like to peel the like skin off or at least some of it off but today i think i'm just gonna keep it on because it's gonna be a little bit crispier that way um so i'm basically gonna cut these into kind of like square-ish like cube thingies because i feel like i'm in a talk show or not a talk show like a like a food live, but like it's not really live because no one watches my lives. And now we have to make our um, seasoning for both the corn and the potatoes. Okay, so the oven is ready, which is really good because I'm just in time of putting the things in. I guess I'm gonna put this in the bowl for now. So we kind of have like the bu butter melted. Might be a little bit too much butter, honestly. But it's okay, because we're just gonna go with there. I'm gonna put some pepper in there. I'm gonna put some garlic salt. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of like lemon juice. So I think like a capful or something. Grab some paprika. That I bought specifically for this meal, by the way. A splash of paprika. I think it works. So with the corn comes tin foil. I'm gonna slather on some of this butter mix on top. And then what I'm gonna do is kind of oh, that was all too much. Um, 
So I basically seasoned some paprika on top of it. And then I'm gonna basically just wrap this corn. Beautiful. We put potatoes into this mixture and I'm going to toss this mixture around. So I'm gonna use a pan like this. Um, I'm gonna put the corn on it. Um, so now we're gonna put this potato and I'm kind of just making sure that they're kind of like spread evenly out. Now I have the potatoes all spread out and I have the corn. I'm gonna pop this in, take about 35 minutes. Okay guys, so I have now washed the lobster tail and my hands. So I have the lobster tail now. Basically what I need to do is uh, cut the top part of the tail. Okay y'all, um, after watching a quick two minute video, I figured out how to butterfly my lobster. So, as we can tell here, um, this is the lobster tail. This is kind of like the front, and we're kind of like butterfly shrimping it or butterfly lobstering it. So this looks really nice, really cool. So now what we need to do is basically, so I kind of still have like the same butter mixture. So basically, right now I'm kind of just gonna um, coat the lobster. All right, so the potatoes are doing very well. So basically what I need to do now is wash the kale. I'm basically going to kind of like rip apart some of these like kale leaves. Kind of just sprinkle them. Realizing I might have a little bit too much kale. With the kale, I'm just gonna like kind of lightly drizzle some oil on top of it. I'm going to also sprinkle like kind of like a dash of like garlic salt, pepper, and then obviously we have to top it off with a little bit of paprika. Right, I'll show you guys. So it kind of looks like this. So we have the potatoes still that are like almost done, I believe. And we have the kale going, we have the corn going. Um, so basically, I'm just gonna put this back into the oven, maybe 10 or something, I don't know. We'll start navigating to our final parts of the meal. As always, I uh, gotta have a well, alcohol break. Besides lobster tail, I said I had chicken, right? So, the lobster tail looks really good. It's like pretty much prepped and ready for it to go in and get baked, uh, which will take, I believe, like 10 ish minutes or whatever. Um, and since the vegetables are almost done, I need to basically start preparing the chicken portion of it to be ready to be uh, cooked. So, it's already pre-marinated. Um, I got a pre-marinated chicken thigh. Um, but since I have the lobster tail going, I'm only gonna do kind of like half the thigh. I kind of like it because it's already kind of like laid out, like kind of like flat for me. So I'm just gonna like kind of like cut it in half. So it, it just cooks easier, it cooks faster. Don't forget to wash your hands. So I just put the lobster into the oven and now I'm going to set a timer for 10 minutes. And while that lobster is cooking, um, I'm going to now cook the chicken. Do it, I'm gonna set the temperature to kind of like a medium high. Let it sit, let it simmer. Y'all, this is the final product, all right? So we got the lobster here, we got the chicken here, we got the we got the chicken here, we got the corn, kale, and potatoes. Oh, look. Okay, guys, so paired it with um, some wine, some peach Moscato. Mmm. Do really like the peach Moscato going on. Um, so... I already tried the lobster and it was really good, but I figured I should try it on camera for y'all to see. Mm. So good the second time through. And I definitely like um, the butter lemon mixture that I had for like the potatoes and all that stuff. 
You can really taste it on the um, on the lobster. The potatoes are amazing as ever. The kale chips are still undeniably really good. This chicken is like supposed to be teriyaki marinated, so. Mmm. Pretty good. Pretty good. I do gotta say so myself. Um. And finally, the corn. All right. Mmm. Oh, I need to take another bite of that. Mmm. Mmm. So. I don't know how many of you friends know. I am a sucker for corn. I love corn so much. Um, but anyway, so yeah, so this was my, now this is turning into a mukbang. <laughs> um, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you guys liked it. Um, and if you did, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe, um, comment down below. Um, well, I haven't done an outro in forever, so I literally can't remember. <laughs> Don't forget to hit the bell notification, even though I post, like, rarely now. <laughs> um, but it's still kind of nice to, like, make some of these videos for fun sometimes. Um, but yeah. Um, thank you guys so much. And, um, with that said, love you all. Have a fabulous day. Have a fabulous week. And I'll see all of you guys next time. Bye.